Yo, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to all my friends and my subscribers and all. Everybody, good morning. So, I mean, your boy out here, Jamrat the Joker, man, just checking in, checking up on my people, making you know, yo, it's all good. Glad to see another day, another week. Hope this week be a better week for me. Look, man, I'm still a company driver, not a owner operator, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hope it'll be a better week because, you know, every week is different. So, this is what's up, man. This morning, we're going to tell you about our experience out here as a truck driver and how to better yourself as a truck driver, how to plan your stuff out, even though it's hard to plan. It's hard to plan. It's not easy to be to plan your way out because you're planning and it just never worked out. But I try to put myself in that situation every day where I try to plan my, plan my stuff out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work. Like today, I was trying to make it back home tonight, which is not going to happen. But that's how it is. It's trucking. You can never complain about that. So when you come out here as a truck driver, man, just make sure until you, you come out here overnight. Put yourself together. Try to be at the shipper. Deliver your load. If you don't have to start your clock, that's even better because you can drive and personal time if you park says two miles away from the shipper personal time you come to the shipper you get your you get unloaded then you start a clock from there pull up to the next place get your load but i'm out here deliver my load this morning in massachusetts right now kicking it chilling like i said man what i did what i do is i try to leave overnight so i can hear with you Make it to the next place, deliver my load, make it to the next place, and then he will make it back out of here and make it home. Pick up my load. The company I work for is like a it's like a um a dedicated company, which is you're gonna take your load there. That's where you, you gotta take your load to the terminal, drop it off there, pick your load up again from there. So it's like a it's like a um, dedicated. If you want to be home on Friday, you got to plan your way out. You got to plan Thursday. Okay, if I'm going to drop, pick up a load Thursday, deliver it. Pick, go Wednesday, deliver your load Thursday. Pick up a load for Friday, Thursday evening. Try to make it out there somewhere. If it's close by, you could make it there, spend it overnight there. Because it's not a close by. 400 miles, 300 miles, whatever it is. What you got to do is be overnight, be there. Get your 10 hour break right there. Get up in the morning. Deliver your load or pick your load up. Sometimes your load not that far away from you. But like I said, if you work for one of those big mega carriers or you work for a company who pay you by the miles, it's kind of hard for you to plan your Friday or plan your weekend to be home by Friday evening. It might be Saturday. And most of these companies, you got to deliver a load on Friday, which is you got to pick up a load Thursday and go deliver it Friday. You might not make it back home. Or... But sometimes again you have time on your clock you could drive to the shipper try to run your hours out man try to run anything you're going to do anytime you come out here try to run your hours out don't drive 500 miles if you can do 600 miles don't try to drive 250 miles and say okay i got tomorrow that means i'm gonna make it home on saturday a lot on friday a lot of people complain oh i never get to make it home i never get to make it home but the reason why you're not making it home is because you don't plan your stuff the way you're supposed to plan your stuff so i mean something you can plan your, your route and make your way back home like me i always plan my experience is i plan my way out i plan to leave overnight at every time go to the shipper park up there get my 10 hour break and then ready again to come back home ready again to make it home if you want to make money out you got to do it exactly like that you can't just say okay i'm gonna leave out so you have your load to deliver in new jersey you're from virginia you live in virginia terminal in virginia doing percentage or uh, if you got to pick your load up at the terminal to, to deliver and come back at the terminal always leave a day leave, leave the day before don't leave six o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning try to leave overnight try to leave um five o'clock the day before uh however time you gotta leave the day before to make it there get your 10 hour break ready again to go to the next place to make it back in order a lot of people don't know how to plan their clock, how to run their clock, and then they complain. Why they not making you no know, money? Why they not able to make it you know, on Friday? Because you don't plan yourself the right way. Like I said, it, it can be done not making it you know, on Friday because 
even if you plan the clock the right way sometimes you don't make it because sometimes you get hold up at the shipper and then you can't make it so what i mean you can't you, you, you can't make it back home but hard to see a driver goes up to new jersey from virginia to new jersey and don't make it back home the next the same day i do that all the time go down to north carolina or just leave the day before make it back the next come be back home the next day so like i said man if you want to make money out you gotta plan your way out you gotta plan your stuff out man don't land this don't leave friday don't leave friday morning if you know you gotta load deliver friday morning don't leave like that i mean 12 o'clock one o'clock two o'clock don't leave like that because you're not gonna make it home unless you're going 200 miles radius so you know it's like bam bam pick up your load and back home that's what it is that's my tip for the day my that's my experience shout out to my own boy tristar go check out this channel man you got some good content over there i'm gonna teach you a lot remember man this is your boy jam right the trucker man please man be safe out there if you're a driver be safe if you taking the bus be safe watch your surrounding peace man be safe your boy jam right the trucker man adios